this is Sabina at Cross Keys Crafts. First of all, apologies, I'm still croaky, but I'm not bothered about it anymore. I'm sure it will shift one day. Today's card was, um, well, it was inspired by two things. First of all, I've been um, watching videos by Terry Runyon on YouTube. She's an artist and she creates lovely, lovely images of animals. Partially she does some sort of decoupage, collaging, um, and all, but also painting. And the other one, probably because I've seen her videos, came uh, about when I saw what this coaster is a bit battered, but I bought this years ago. And I was looking at these uh, seals here, and I thought they're actually quite an easy shape to recreate, because it doesn't really matter what they look like. So I had the idea to basically copy what Terry Runyon does in her videos with some um, cardstock that I have already prepared. Because these are some backgrounds from my stash. Um, these are just ordinary ink smooshing. If you've never done that before, you basically have a uh, acetate or I sometimes use some freezer paper. Uh, and you put some ink down and some water down and then you just dab your paper into this. This one, you can actually see it's been swiped a little bit. So I thought today when I looked at these, they would be great for the background. And then this is Brushos. That's a dark grey, I think it's called. Um, and it's got a bit of mica in it as well. And I thought with the speckled bits, that might actually be quite nice to use. But I've also got these here. That's mica powders and ink. I can't even remember how I created these, but have a look. And again, these are brushos that I played around with, but I'm not sure yet whether I'll be using these because they are quite busy. And all you need to do for this technique is to basically cut the shape out of this paper. So I'm just using my coaster for reference. Sorry if I can't. Um, give a copyright or a name to the artist who created this. There's nothing on the coaster, but um, I'm, I know it's you know one of those you find in touristy places. So all I'm going to do is I said cut shapes out. I'll see if I can get this speckled bit. And what I want to do is I want to cut the um, body here with a tail out of one piece. And I will actually have the face like this, just a round circle on top. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just checking for the size because I don't want it to be too big. So this is all I'm doing. This is all that Terry Runyon does. Don't think about it too much. If you want to draw it down on the back first, you can do that. But I'm just going for it. And I'm just sorry if you can't see that. It's a bit dark, this paper on the camera. But it's actually quite easy. So I think that'll be nice for the body. So funnily enough, I've just cut past that. So I think I will use that for one of the fins. So I'm just cutting this out like this. Checking that it's not too big. Yeah, I might have to cut that down a little bit. And I'm not speeding this up because I want to show you how quickly you can actually create something like this. Yeah, that's better. And I want to have one at the bottom. So I'm just using this part here. And this is actually a craft you could even do with children. Because it is not difficult. I'm going to link to Terry's um, channel below. Just cutting this a bit straight so it's flush with the bottom of the body. Because I want him to be on a rock, I think. So all I need to do now is cut a circle for the head. I say circle, just something that resembles a circle. Yeah, I'm happy with that. You could cut that in one shape if you wanted to, but I think I want, want it to be like this. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue this down here and I'm not going to show you that and then I'll show you how I proceed from there. So I've stuck him down with the Cosmic Shimmer glue here. <clears throat> you can use any glue really, it doesn't matter. I have cut down the head a little bit on the side so it's less round because I wanted it to be a bit more flush with the side. I think that looks a bit more natural. So I have decided to use this um, cardstock anyway for the... Um, for the bottom to put down some rocks and all I'm doing is just cutting it down a bit like this and it's really it's like playing around really that'll do me and I'll have another one coming from the other side just overlapping lightly putting one down properly like this that's stuck on a bit funny here. Might be my scissors. So just for the seal to lie on a little bit. Just cutting this one a wee bit flatter. If you want to, you can put this down first and then put the seal on. But yeah, so I'm going to glue these down as well off camera. So I have stuck these, these down so I can just cut the excess off from the back. You can use your guillotine for that, but I'm just doing it with the scissors. This one's a bit tricky where it was double layers and it is a thick cardstock the, that I'm using for the rocks. There we go. So that's all done and now that's left to do is just paint, basically paint the face. You can use some um, a Posca pen if you want to or I've got a white jelly roll but I think I'll just leave this one in black. So I've just got a Sharpie or by the way I've got uh, a silver pen as well which is a bit like a Posca. What I recommend you do, whatever you do, just test it on a piece of scrap paper first. So make sure it's flowing nicely. This one, for example, I haven't used this in ages. It's not going well at all, so I'm going to dismiss that idea. I know my jelly pen is working nicely, so I might just use that one for the fins here. And you don't even need to be precise. Because all you need to do is basically hint at what it is. And this, the face I'm just creating now in black. So I'm just basically copying what I can see on the coaster there. So I'm just creating, first of all, the big eyes. Then we need the nostrils. And the most important thing, the smiley face. And I have some whiskers. The problem with them is now obviously I'm going off to the side, so you will have a bit of an edge, but it doesn't matter. So and I've got a bit of an orange pen here for the cheeks uh, because I've got orange in the cardstock I thought it would be nice to stay in this colour family so again actually I'm using this on here see what it's like I'm just realizing it will be brown so that's no good that will be a bit too dark oh let me find a different orange pen oh I might dismiss that a bit before I go too dark oh this one's fine now I'm not quite sure whether I need anything else. Oh yeah, I need to put a few strokes of paint in here. Could do with finding my Posca and reinforcing these. I think I will do that off screen in a moment. And yeah, 
and then I just need to find a sentiment and I think it's nice as it is you can see it's very simple doesn't need much doing to it um, but it's quite effective and quite cute so yeah that's my card for today obviously this will go on a, on a card base a five by seven card I will show you the finished one in the end credits yeah if you like this card you might want to give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of what I'm creating you might want to subscribe to my channel I'd be very happy about that and I'll see you soon so this is my finished card I added this sentiment here um, I couldn't find my Posca pen. I don't know where it disappeared to, so I just went over it again with my jelly pen. But it doesn't really matter for the style. And I also added a few hairs on the top. I thought that was a nice feature and some highlights here in the eye. And I also forgot to say, if you haven't got any of these backgrounds that I have created and had in my stash, you can just use pattern cardstock. Um, you can use like newspapers. Uh, musical notes anything you can ink those up as well if you want to get a certain color of them this is what uh, terry runyon does she does all sorts of collaging with different colored papers different kind of papers so anything is possible really with this technique and as you can see the result is really cute and it's so simple to make i'm going to, going to definitely make some more so as i said check out her video below of her channel that I'm going to link below and uh, yeah lots to learn there and lots to see so I'll see you again soon with my next video